Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be answering questions from Reddit. Some of these questions are really quite interesting and I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's get into this video. Our first question, what famous chess player would have been an amazing chess streamer in this era and why? I would say Bobby Fischer. Why Bobby Fischer? Well, basically because you get to see some amazing chess analysis and at the same time, you can also hear some very extreme views on some very interesting topics. The truth is chess is no good anymore. Ah, finally, why is the Nidorf so dominant in top level chess compared to other openings currently? Oh, my question exactly, why? Why are we still here? Just to suffer every night. As a world champion, ever not been hashtag one in FIDE rankings? Has someone who was a world champion not been the highest rated player in FIDE rankings? Yes, I think that's the case. Um, Vladimir Kramnik, when he beat Veslin Topalov in 2006, was actually rated world number four, if I'm not wrong. I made an entire video on the Toilet Gate scandal, which again, you'll find above me right now. Recommendation for lines against the French defense. Hmm, the French. <laughs> Anything will do, it's a pretty terrible opening. <laughs> Anyone else feel like Levon Aronian is overlooked? Um, no. I mean, everyone knows he's a great player, former world number two, winner of many top tournaments. I mean, I don't think he's overlooked. You guys should comment below and let me know if you think he's overlooked, because I, I don't really think he is. Okay, an interesting question. According to Gary Kasparov, if you make 10 threats in a row, your opponent will blunder eventually. Do you agree with this quote? Absolutely, if, you're, if you make 10 forcing moves and your opponent has only one move to play or has to keep defending passively, eventually he or she is going to lash out or is just going to make an error in calculation. I totally agree with that. What happened to Gotham Chess? Nothing, I guess. Can you just show the game already? Oh my god, can you change the song? Someone is asking for book recommendations. The question is, books on strategy slash positional play for beginner slash low intermediate that are not by Silman. Okay, why not by Silman, by the way? What's wrong with Silman? I've read a lot of Silman books. Okay, not a lot. I've read one, um, his endgame book, and I, I thought it was a pretty decent book. Um, but since you don't want Silman books, I can think of one book, which is Lessons with a Grandmaster, which is one of my favorite books. The, the, it's, there are three parts to this book. The first part is what you should be looking for, which is based on positional play and strategy. It's by Boris Gulko, who is a Grandmaster, and his student, Joel R. Sneed. I think it's a great book and you could definitely learn something from it. Chess.com or Lee Chess? Click on the link above. Bullet ruined my chess. Is there any recovery? <laughs> what a nice question. Um, I think so, yeah, because you say bullet ruined your chest. Is there any way for recovery? I'd say just remove bullet. Stop playing bullet. I mean, if you think bullet was the problem, remove bullet. It's pretty much as simple as that, I guess. That's all for this video. If you did like it, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you soon for more chess.